You know, it is and it isn't. You know, a lot of most people who aren't who aren't really involved in the process don't know who we are. I mean, they we're somewhere around the the stylists, the hairstylists. Uh, people don't understand what a production designer does either. Um, uh, you know, it's just it's. I think as time goes on, I think editors are getting acknowledged more. But you know, it's. To become an editor, you have to be kind of internal. You have to be uh, introverted to some extent. So it's not that bad. I, I wouldn't want to be too recognized. You know, that's not my thing. Yeah, I mean, there's a DP. I remember years ago, I love this guy too, but he would just to fuck with, just to fuck with Post. He would, he wouldn't shoot the slates, you know. So, and at the time, you know, everyone had to sync stuff up, and it would just be miserable, you know. And that's, it was, it was sadistic, you know. And that's sort of, that's always been kind of the relationship we've had. So, any chance I have to fuck with production, it's, it's, it's a happy day. <laughs> No, you know, I, I, it, unfortunately, it's pretty one-sided because we're, you know, we're the we're the people that get the film. It's there's not too much that we can do. Uh, so no, I, I, I just, uh, I, I love occasionally throwing things deliberately out of sync. Uh, you know, when 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 I don't have a slate, uh, and you know, just embarrassing the DP. But you know, it's like uh, you're not gonna get. You're, it's it's we're we're all comrades in arms, you know. We're not gonna get too far if we're if we're uh, if we're destroying each other. It's a family, you know. The th one of the things that's really hard is you'll work with somebody or with a group of people for uh, for months and months. And then one day the job's over and everyone goes their own way. And it can be hard because you, you know, it, it is a family of sorts, but it really isn't. You know, you have to really, you have to be grounded and you have to know who your, who your family really is. You know, and I think that also makes me a better editor. You know, because I, on, on a certain level, you find, and you find that you can be susceptible to like the Stockholm syndrome, where you start identifying with your captors. And you know, I'm I'm only partially joking, you know, because an editor has to be strong, uh, and an editor has to disagree with a director occasionally. You know, obviously, at the end of the day, the the director's voice is king, but. Oh, I wouldn't be doing my job, uh, and I, I don't think any editor would be, if they were just acquiescing to everything. You know, so, so I know in my heart when I'm working with somebody that we're not friends. I mean, at least our relationship isn't one of friendship, although you can develop a, a very profound friendship. But I'm, I'm there to create uh, to create like friction as, as, as well as uh, as well as giving the director what he wants what is it it's like the uh, in, in in Marxism I think they called it the dialectic the Hegelian dialectic where it's just a struggle yeah. on the film that I just worked on it really wasn't a struggle, per se. You know, it's like because the we were on the same page. You know, I was listening to Steve talking, and he, you know, he's had he's had such a, an ongoing relationship with Alejandro that they they sort of think we're the same part of their brain, you know. And that I I I so admire that, you know, and I aspire to have that kind of relationship with the director.
this film here, uh, I I was brought in uh, at, at when they had a couple weeks left to the shoot. And uh, so I didn't really have much influence over the shoot. Usually what I'll do is go through the script and uh, I'll just make pages and pages and pages of notes, which I, I turn over to the director and the DP and they generally just toss them. But here we had, we had this fantastic director, Adam McKay, and a DP. Barry Ackroyd, who um, was just like perfect for me. He, he, uh, he totally understood what Adam wanted, and he, without, without shooting it the way he did, I couldn't have cut it. You know, so it was just this film was a, a little miracle. You know, everything worked out, and these things don't happen very often. Well, I mean, you're 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 saying something. You know, the the word collaboration is just so important. So many people come out of film school, and it's like, poof, you're a director. They don't have, you know, they don't have the skill set to really work with other people. And this is these aren't the days of Alfred Hitchcock, or there was only one Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, and you know you can have that, but I think I think a, a really great director has to know who to hire and have faith in them, unless unless somehow you know it's it's proven that things aren't working out. So the director has to hire the best people he can find that can execute his vision, and then let them feel free and let them feel safe. And I found that with Adam. McKay, it's like he just got that intuitively. Everybody loves this guy, and he just sneaks this spectacular content. I mean, it it was unreal working with him. Yeah, you know, because I've always been considered, you know, I, sort of out there as an editor. And I, I know that when I take stylistic approaches, they may not be what the director wants. I do feel it's sort of like my obligation to show them stuff, and it's a bummer. It's really a bummer if the director starts judging your editing, your, your way of, of working by what he sees. You know, and so if you don't, and then as an editor, you get paranoid, and if you don't, and it, 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 it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. The most horrible thing is to be thinking, I'm going to get fired, I'm going to get fired, I'm going to get fired. And then one day you might get yourself fired. No, absolutely. And they're always, you know, you hear that films are always left unfinished. There, you know, I, as an editor, I always have regrets. Uh, about maybe not pushing something too hard or maybe pushing something uh, too hard uh, or just not, not fighting for a scene hard enough that's no longer in the picture. I feel for really, for directors, they have so much pressure on them. I mean, I, and it's pressure I don't want. You know, but also I don't want to know about it, you know, and I don't think a DP wants to know about it. I don't think a production designer wants to know about it. I want to be free, you know. If 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 you know, if I want to drop dead, I'll be a director, you know. But it, it's just, it's not. I, I this sounds so harsh. It's it's not my problem, that that the studio's you know pounding on your head. Uh, although, it it is my problem. No, a absolutely. I know Adam McKay comes from the improv world, and he was telling me that you know he when he was working at Second City, they had I I forget the name of his his uh, his teacher his improv teacher, but who said you never you never say the first thing that comes into your mind or the second thing, but 
you only say the third thing or, or something after. And I think that's, that's fantastic advice. You know, and I, I, I just think that, because, you know, film is such a fluid thing now. There's so many ways to approach something. You know, and I, I fully acknowledge I'm probably not a good editor for everybody. You know, but um, I, I think that, you know, if, at least for me, if I understand what the director wants to, wants to feel, you know, I can, I can help him get there. And obviously, if he builds like filmic con, uh, constructs, I can, work, I can work with those, but maybe I can take them apart, make them work better. Maybe not, you know, but at least I want to have that opportunity without thinking I, I'm going to get canned. Well, you know, you really, if, you really aren't. You know, the director, the director, if, if things don't work out so well, it, it's his head that's going to be on the stick not yours, generally, you know. But I just don't want to work with directors who are fearful. <laughs>